Hi, this is question number 8 from the AQA Further Pure for January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question. So if you'd like to pause the video and have a go at that now. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. For the next part of the video, we're going to, um, I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So, um, we're given the four vertices of a parallelogram A, B, C, D. Um, these are the coordinates. The first thing we want to do is find the cross product of A, B and A, D. So I guess we need to start off finding um, what the vector A, B is and what the vector A, D is using these coordinates. Um, we then need to show that the area of that parallelogram um, can be written in that form there. Um, and we need to remember that the magnitude of the cross product will, will tell us the area of the parallelogram. Part B, um, we've got our diagonals AC and, and BD um, and they meet at point M. The line L passes through M and is perpendicular to our plane ABCD. Now we want to find an equation for the line L um, so in order to do this we need to know the direction in which L is going in and we also need to know a point that it passes through. Now because we know that the line L is perpendicular to the plane ABCD then we should already have worked out what the um, direction of that perpendicular is going to be. Also we know that they meet at the point M um, well, sorry, we know that the lines, uh, the diagonals AC and BD meet at the point M and it passes through the point M. Then, um, using our knowledge of parallelograms, um, where they intersect each other is going to be at the midpoint of, of AC or at the midpoint of BD. So, if we can work that out, um, that will give us the information that we need to answer this part of the question. Part C. Um, this time we've got a plane that's parallel to the plane ABCD and it passes through this point here. We want to find the coordinates of the point of intersection um, that the line L makes with, with our plane. Now, um, <coughs> we will have already worked out an equation of the line L um, from, from this question here. So we, all, we, we need to know the um, equation of this plane. Now. Um, in order to work out the equation of the plane, um, I could write it in the form r dot n equals d. Now n I already know because we know the direction of the normal to this plane. And um, I know a point that it passes through. So I should be able to work out what d is and then I could write down the general equation. Um, of that plane. Once I've got the general equation of that plane, because I know that it intersects with the line L, we should be able to um, write the line L in parametric form and substitute it in to find out where that point of intersection is. The second part of, of, of C, um, we uh, da, 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 and the opposite face lies in the plane plane, right? So we've got a parallelopiped, um, the parallelogram makes up um, some of the parallelopiped, and um, we, sorry, one of the faces of the parallelopiped, and we know the other um, face lies in the plane um, that we've just found in, in part one. Um, so what we would need to do is um, use the point of intersection that we found and use the cross product that we found earlier on of A, B, cross A, D um, and decide how we can use those in order to find the volume of the parallelopiped. Lots of hints there but there's um, lots of marks involved in this question. What we've got 10, so 18, 18 marks, so almost 25% um, of the paper right there. So um, if you'd like to now have a go at this question and, and I'll go over the answer shortly. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm going to go over the answer to this question. Um, I'm just going to give myself a little bit more space to work in. So I'll pop that over there. We'll pop this over here. Okay, so um, <coughs> we're going to start off by doing AB cross AD. So 
first part of part A. Um, so I need the vector AB first of all, but that's going to be B take away A. So I've got 2, negative 1, and 3. So that's going to be AB, and I want to cross that with AD, which is going to be 4, 3, negative 1. Okay, so if I find the cross product of these, I'm going to have um, 1 take away 9, so I've got negative 8, and then I've got 14, and I've got 6, which is 10. Okay, so that gives us um, the uh, AB cross AD. Um, and I probably should have written that down. Okay, right. Um, the next part of the question. Um, Uh, show that the area of the parallelogram um, is going to be this here. So I need to find the magnitude of AB cross AD. Um, and that should tell me the area of the parallelogram. So that's going to be equal to, and it's going to be the square root of um, that square, which is 64 plus 196 plus 100. Um, that works out to be. Um, root 360 which gives me 6 root 10 so P um, would have a value of 6 ok um, part B uh, the diagonals AC and BD uh, meet at the point M um, and we want the line that's perpendicular at to the plane and passes through M. So I'm going to start by finding um, the point that it goes through. So A, I want the midpoint of AC or the midpoint of BD. Um, they both should give me the same thing. So um, I'll do the midpoint of AC. So I've got um, 1 add 7 divided by 2, which gives me 4. And um, uh, 0 and 2 divided by 2 gives me 1, and 2 and 4 divided by 2 gives me 3. Okay, so that's going to be our midpoint 4, 1, 3. So we've got that bit, and we also need to know um, the line uh, perpendicular to the plane ABCD. Well, we've already found this over here because we know that AB cross AD, AD, AD is going to be equal to this vector here. So um, I'm going to now write down my um, equation of L and we want it in this form here so I'm going to say that um, R take away and um, this is going to be the position vector 4, 1, 3 and I'm crossing that with my um, direction vector which is negative 8, 14, 10 and then actually I'm going to write this because um, because it's a direction vector I can write it as negative 4, 7 and 5 just to simplify it slightly and that's going to be equal to um, 0 ok um, so there you go that's that part of the question done um, we now want to move on to part C so if, if I just tidy up ok so this time we want a um, we're told that there's a plane that's parallel to ABCD um, and it passes through this point here. We want to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of L with that plane. So, uh, okay, so um, we said earlier that we can write this in the form R dot N equals B. So, um, 
right we know what the normal is because we worked that out earlier it's going to be um, this here and we also know what a we know a point um, that it goes through um, which is this point here so I should be able to use that information to work out what D is so if I put in 6517 and I'm going to dot that with the normal that I found um, which is negative 4, 7, 5 and that's going to tell me what D is so um, so D is equal to 6 times negative 4 which is negative 24 plus 35 um, which is equal to 96 okay so d is equal to 96 so I can now write the general equation of this as r dot okay so um, so that's the first part of this um, we um, remember looking for the coordinates of the point of intersection so I want to know when um, this line intersects with this line here now in order to find the points of intersection I'm going to write this um, the equation of line L um, so this is our plane okay I'm going to write the equation of line L um, in parametric form okay so um, line L I'm going to write it in parametric form so let's say that R is equal to and we want a point that it goes through which is 4, 1, 3 plus lambda times by the direction it goes in which is negative 4, 7, 5 ok um, and now I'm going to substitute um, this in here to work out what lambda is and then that will tell me um, where the intersection takes place so um, if I substitute this into here into the plane so I've got and I'm going to write this as a single vector so I've got 4 take away 4 lambda 1 plus 7 lambda Yeah, and I'm just sticking this in here, so I need to dot that with minus four seven five, and that dot product will equal to will be equal to ninety six, right? So I should be able to use this now to work out what lambda is. Um, I'm just going to come over here. So if I just uh, cross this off here, so I can work over here. So I've got. Um, if I multiply this out, I've got 4 times negative 4, so that's negative 16 plus 16 lambda. Um, so that's that dot, um, dot that, that, so plus 7 plus 49 lambda. Plus 15 plus 25 lambda. And that's equal to 96. Uh, simplifying this here I'm going to get 90 lambda is equal to 90 ok 90 lambda so that tells me that lambda is equal to 1 oh, that was quite nice ok so um, so we still um, remember are looking for the coordinates of the point of intersection so what I can do now is I can substitute 1 um, into here uh, and that will tell me what the point of intersection is so um, I've got 4 and the lambda is 1 so I've got 4 take away 4 which is just 0 and then I've got 1 plus 7 which is 8 and 3 plus 5 which is 8 
okay so the point of intersection is going to be 0 8 8 right so um, intersection there. okay so uh, part 2 so that was part 1 okay part 2 um, one face of the parallel of hyperbola ABCD, and the opposite face lies in the plane. Um, so we know that six five seventeen um, is a point that lies on that plane. So I can use my um, scalar triple product and do AB cross AD. Um, and I want to dot that with a Q. Okay, so that's going to be equal to now. I've got our AB cross AD from earlier, which is uh, negative eight fourteen ten. And I want to dot that with a q. Now I know q is six five seventeen, so a q. Well, that's going to be six take away one, which is five. Uh, eight. Sorry, six take away one, which is five. Five take away zero, which is five, and seventeen take away two, which is fifteen. Okay, and if I dot those together, I've got negative 40 uh, plus 70 um, plus 150, uh, which is equal to 180. Okay, so um, the volume of our parallel biped is going to be equal to 180. Um, units cubed. Okay, I'm just going to tidy up. So there you have it. Um, hopefully that was clear for you. Thanks very much for joining me. That was the last question of this exam paper. It was worth a lot of marks. Um, hopefully you, you understood that and, and you've done okay. I will see you again soon for another exam paper.